hello we are back at aldi to do another weekly grocery haul with you i'm gonna take you with me we're gonna grab all the things we need aldi is my store that i go to for my fill-ins i make a grocery list every single week and i thought this might help you so i've created an aldi shopping list this is everything they were picking up today at aldi that i want to share with you so down below there'll be a pdf you just go ahead and click that and you can print it out and take it with you to your local aldi these are the products the items that i absolutely love that i buy pretty much every single time i go into aldi so without further ado let's go in and go shopping and let's get everything that we need for an entire week we're going to go over the finds and do all the things like always i'm going to put a recipe together just for you let's go shopping are you ready you guys ready to go shopping let's go, let's let's go. you're bringing your sandwich in <laughs> cc what are you bringing in with you today your drawing pad and teddy bear lovely as always Look at you! Are you gonna look at the look produce at the bag? bag. <laughs> there she is. Oh, I love that. So cute. Okay, so who do we have with us? We have Cecilia, Victoria, okay. Sophia's with us, and then we have Claudia Joy, and we have Madeline, and then we have Hannah. Hello, Hannah. I had to go inside and get change for a dollar. <laughs> there you go. Take a look, my daughter to the rescue. I always get the quarters here. I know. Like I think my last quarter was because they kept being watered from Costco. Oh yeah. So. All right, let's do this. Here is the, this is for the week, must be. Nice. Okay, so right off the bat, this is definitely gonna be one of our top healthy finds, and that is the cuties. These were only $2.79, originally $3.59. So we are going to pick up two bags of these. These are non-GMO and my kids love them. They're great for snacking, great for on the go, throw them in the car, throw them in the lunch boxes, whatever you need them for. But that price is crazy good. And they're three pound bags. That's less than a dollar a pound for oranges. A lot of them, they're really nice. These are so pretty. And they're only $8.99. Mm -hmm. I think I like this one you have. I like this one too. What is this one called? Apelia. Apelia? Apelia. I, I do. They're pretty big too. We need more plants. We do. And this one looks really sweet. Love it. Let's do it. Okay. $8.99. Not bad. They have a variety of them here too. These are really I'm nice. so ready for These spring and summer. Good. Okay, so best price ever in cauliflower. This is something that I buy non-organic. Um, we're going to get cauliflower for snack. This would definitely be a fine. You'll see that a lot of the produce here at Aldi is in my top list for fines because we buy a lot of the berries and stuff here. And I'm just going to grab one of the, I'm just going to grab one for the week for snack. But actually at that price, you know what, we're going to grab two of them because we're trying to do more of the single ingredient foods and less of the prepackaged foods because your grocery bill goes up when you start buying anything in boxes. So it's always better to buy single ingredient foods because you're going to save money and it's better for you. Okay, so we usually buy the berries here. They usually have a really good selection of organic berries. Definitely in our list, but guess what? They don't have them. It looks like they're out of the organic raspberries raspberries and they don't have any of the blueberries so that's kind of a bummer we decided to start buying our organic celery at whole foods because it's the same price and they have the tops but they do have many cucumbers here they're non-gmo so i'm okay doing that um they are 189 and my kids love these definitely a find we love the mini cucumbers here should we get one bag or two let's get two that's a super great price. It's one pound for $1.89. Okay, so they do have cucumbers here. These are the seedless cucumbers. They are non-GMO. We're gonna see what these taste like. I'm gonna get two of them. They're 95 cents each. They're non-GMO, they're not organic, but they're half the price of Costco. So two of those. Yeah, can you just grab that for me? Any one of those that are good. This is a better price than Whole Foods. I've noticed there that theirs is $5.99 and I do like the ingredients. It's really good. Spring mix, definitely something we buy here every week. Another thing we buy here are the greens. These are $2.89 a box. Teddy bear, I love the name teddy bear. And definitely an Aldi find for us. And there's only three loaves left. We're gonna buy them. This is $4.69. Need one. 
two and three. I should see if they have more, but that's okay. For $3.69, they also have the bread and thin slices, which I'm thinking I might just pick up for like breakfast in the morning because those are more of like sandwich slices. Girls, you want to get these for the um for breakfast? Oh, sure, we can do the smaller loaves. Because that makes sense, right? Yeah. Do you want so, one or two? We'll do two of them. It's a dollar cheaper a loaf. Okay, so we ended up with five loaves. We got the thin sliced bread for breakfast and the thicker slices for lunch. Now, if you're looking for a really great sweet potato chip, there's one from Jackson's that is super clean and delicious. The reason why I would avoid these is because they have canola oil and safflower oil in them. So this is not something that I would personally consume. So I say this every time I see the hot dogs. These are the best deals. Look at that price. That is $4.85 compared to what hot dogs cost at like Whole Foods. They're at least $6.99 and up. And if you look, let me show you. Let me just close the store. This is definitely on our top finds. I know it's a processed food because it's a hot dog, but uncured beef hot dog. And over here in the corner, it says made with 100% grass-fed beef. With summer coming up, I would stock up on these, especially because they're on sale and they're super delicious. Girls, do you like these hot dogs? Yeah. Yeah, see, they're good. They're totally kid approved. Okay, we've come to the meat section of Aldi, and I love the meat section here because they carry things like grass fed ribeye steaks for $11.49, and they've got the strip steaks for $11.49, which is a great, great price. And then my favorite thing ever here is the ground lamb. We're gonna get some of this today. It's $5.85, and I need to grab three of these. This is one of my favorites finds here for the, in the meat department. How many? Um, three of them. They have the 93% organic grass-fed ground beef here, and then they also have the 85% lean organic grass-fed ground beef. I've had this one, it's pretty good, but I will say the burger patties at Costco are cheaper. Definitely a find at Aldi would be the grass-fed products, the beef, love the ground lamb, have not had the pork, and then they have all the like cuts of steak and stuff. Oh, the cat earbuds. I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another great find here is a sauerkraut. We buy this all the time when we don't have it at home or if I don't buy it at Costco. And it's $1.59 for the jar. That's a crazy good price. 24 ounces. So we pick this up a lot. And we do not buy organic peanut butter here, but I want to point it out. They do have it. This is the organic creamy peanut butter and it's just made of peanuts and sea salt. So good. Now we do most of our beans in dry form now in the Instant Pot because it's so easy. But if that's not your thing, and I am working on that video, I promise it's coming. Aldi does have canned beans. They have the organic kidney beans. And they also have the pinto beans. And they have black beans down here. And the black beans are only 99 cents. But they also carry the dry beans. But these, again, these are organic. They're not just non-GMO. So super great. They have those three beans. And if you're looking to stock up your prepper pantry, you want to have things like beans on you even if you're keto or carnivore if things go bad you're gonna want the beans <laughs> and every time you come to the store just buy one or two little things for a couple bucks and stick them in your pantry and pretty soon you're gonna have a really good stockpile okay this is quite a find i didn't know they had this here 499 for the simple nature organic apple cider vinegar not only is it organic but it also has the mother in it which is so good believe it or not it's hard to find out the mother and apple cider vinegar has gone up tremendously in price this is something you want to have on hand for many many reasons only three left it must be popular 4.99. Okay, so I wanted to go over the ketchup here. So this is super great price, cheapest organic ketchup I found. But I was watching a story on Instagram, and the experiment was how much sugar is actually in a bottle of ketchup, and you'd be floored at how much sugar is actually in here. I believe it's a quarter teaspoon of sugar per tablespoon of ketchup. 
lots of sugar. So the best thing you can do is make it yourself if you can do it. So I'm going to show you how we make our ketchup. I've done it in the past. I'm just going to challenge myself now to do it again. Three grams of sugar in here, but I guess I never really sat there and like figured it out and I was like whoa shocker so ketchup is on our list now of things that we're gonna make okay so my husband sat here and did the math it is a half a cup of sugar per bottle yep. so do what you like we are definitely gonna make our own and we're gonna skip all the excess sugar there's enough sugar in everything you know treats and stuff so we're gonna skip that <laughs> yeah, it's cow yogurt. Oh yeah, she circled waffles, mixed veggies, chicken nuggets, yogurt, milk, bacon. And now she's circling cookies. That was, that was two yeah. Blueberries, of course. What are you drawing, love? Costco. You're drawing Costco. <laughs> Let me see it. Costco! Okay, so I did some research. I'm gonna to speak to the manager and see if I can just double, triple check this, but we won't be buying avocados here anymore because Avotera by Index Fresh, according to this website, I will drop the website down below for you so you can check it out for yourself. They are Index Fresh offers a peel treated avocado. Don't know if these have the appeal on it. I don't see a sticker that says it's on it, but until I know, we're just not gonna buy the avocados here. So another item we bought here, one of our favorite finds is the apples. This is the Pink Lady apples, and these are super good. These are what I made that applesauce with, with the hidden veggies. It was so delicious. Pink Lady actually is just so perfect for that recipe. The price is really good, so three pounds, $1.50 a pound. You cannot beat that, that's such a good deal okay you know we're gonna go over the finds as we always check them out over here on this side of our store is all the things that didn't sell last week this is so cute you guys remember this from a few weeks ago little drain look at the frog little frog drain for 3.99 and it just pulls the hair out it is gross i know aren't they pretty they have, like, these cute lines on it they'd be so cute for like the table oh yeah for Easter. They're decorate. tapered dinner candles. How what do they get for those? Uh, $2.49. $2.49 and they come in what shade? Ooh, it's like a soft pink. White. They do have the white they and the black blue. And blue. I like the and blue. And the black. That is really pretty. I like the colors they're coming out with. They're coming out with so many, so many spring things. Look at that sweet lamp. Those are cute. Those are cute. It's like a little mini Is that gold? desk lamp. Oh, oh, I love that. And then they have the black for $12.99. Nice. What is this? Oh, it's a bamboo pendant lamp. Oh, nice. That is cool. How much to get for that? $39.99. Nice. Endure use only. Um, convertible hardwire or plug-in. Love it. So they do have light blocking window curtains here for $7.99, originally $9.99. So it's a clearance item, which is going to save you on your heating and cooling costs. Looks like they're the 84 inches, one panel. And I think what they have here is gray. Gray, and then they also have like a, oh, they have a couple of different colors. Then over here, this is like sweet decor. Let me see if I can pull this a little bit closer. Oversized wood knot and the white. Looks like they have a black up there. And then they also have a neutral color for $9.99. Cute. Down here, these are all, okay, these are all the bowl fillers. How sweet, for $3.99, wow. And you get a whole box. Look at these, Victoria. Then they have the bowls to put them in. I love how Aldi coordinates this, it's so perfect. Okay, I'm really liking these, so I like these a lot. Lemons, if lemon is your thing, but look at back here. They have like this greenery. Look at the green for like St. Patrick's Day. That's cute. Wouldn't that be cute? I yeah, love the that. Balls. The green fuzzy balls are Because cool. then you could use them for Christmas or St. Patty. I would would totally you guys like these? Yes. Okay, do you want those? Yes. They're $4. Yeah, these are really cute. I don't think you could find them that cheap. But then do we have to buy the bowl? Yeah, we get a bowl too while we're But here. we have bowls. This is a huge one. This is kind of big. We're looking at the bowls. Do I buy one? Do I not buy one? We're holding the money down. We We're going to see what we have at home. Yeah. And then if I don't have anything at home, Timu, things like that, we'll, we'll find a bowl somewhere. So $12.99 though for the home ceramic bowl or the oversized serving bowl. So I would think this is more of a serving bowl for $14.99. This is more of your like decor, sculpting, ceramic bowls. You come over here and you get your bowl fillers. 
Then you come over here and buy your bowls. Oh, in the back, the back of the chairs. Of the super cute idea. It is super cute. Love that idea. Oh my goodness. So these are $6.99. You could do the mini wreath in the green or the lavender. We're doing immunity shots in the aisle of Aldi because my voice is crackling again from all my talking. I forgot my bee spit. You like to squirt the... <laughs> Got the bee stuff. Let me see. Throw up in your... Mmm, yum. So we are really excited to see they have scrub daddy here for $3.49. Now Costco sells a pack of eight. I they think it's a little bit cheaper, mommy. but they don't have the scrub mommy. And because we don't have a scrub mommy, I'm going to get it. I didn't notice they kind of show you how all this works. I thought that was cute. Our scrub mommy is going to be just for our bathtub. And then down here for $9.99, they have all the blankets. So they have the coastal throw and they have the gray coastal throw with the balls at the end and then they have like the cream colored one blue ones and then gray and white and the size on the throws are 50 by 70 these are really sweet uh, let's work our way down here $6.99 for the titan water bottles and that's a two pack in different colors some sweet oh look at these colors you guys $14.99 20 piece flatware set all the things you need. That's a pretty reasonable deal. Look at what I spy. But they have a lemon squeezer here. And the lemon squeezer that I just used to make the salmon in the Costco haul. They do sell this here right now for $3.99. Along with, ooh, you can get a garlic press for $3.99. Nice. You can get a peeler for $3.99. That seems like it's a pretty sturdy peeler. We have all this stuff. <laughs> when you've been married almost 27 years, you have stuff. And then for $9.99, they have the wooden silicone utensil set. Those are really pretty. Looks like they're all in blue. Wooden silicone, five-piece set, which is fine. Pancake pan for $9.99. Isn't that cute? Look at all the different designs. There's also animals. Oh my gosh, look at the, the bunny. Lifting weights. How cute is that? Love it. This is a non-stick coating. I'd have to find out what the coating's made out of. It's got it on there. Already Does it have it? it? No, oh, darn. PFAS. Yeah. So, not the best non-stick coating you can use, but they're super cute. The purple one? So we were just walking around while mom looks at finds and CC spots the fruit packets. Or pouches, fruit pouches. Yeah, do you want one? Yeah, do you want one? You have purple? Did you want one? That's apple, pear, and spinach. Hello! There she is! What? Did you video? <laughs> Sophia fell asleep and Cicely decided to sit in the cart and draw a little more. Another really amazing find here is the chia seed for $5.45 and the flex seed for $3.45. Okay, so I love that they have the pasta, linguine, and spaghetti noodles on sale for $1.69. That's a really great deal. So another really good find here would be the noodles, and then we love their chickpea and penne. Rotini noodles over here for $2.69. Super high in the protein, and they're really delicious. Then as long as we're in the aisle, another find that's so, so good and such a good deal is the organic marinara tomato basil pasta sauce. That is a phenomenal bargain. So you grab some of that, you grab some of your noodles, and then you go over and grab some meat. You got yourself a nice little dinner. I also like their selection of spices here. $2.29 is so inexpensive for really any spice you buy. It's a really great deal. It looks like they are, what size bottles? 1.12 to 2.5 ounces. So crushed pepper, cayenne, turmeric powder, garlic powder, oregano, cinnamon, chili powder. They got you covered. I think I'm actually going to try this crushed red pepper because I think we're almost out of it. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. So we're going to get some cheese slices there. $2.35 for the six ounces. And let's get four total because we already have two at home. And this is definitely a find for us. I do like their cheese here. They have some really great cheese selections. The kids love the slices. So at our store, they bring in local cheese. So this is from Carvelli. They have some really yummy, delicious cheese. So I'm going to get the smoked pepper jack for a treat. And then what else is in here? Yeah. Then they have the Marissa cheese. So I'm going to get these two. 
They are a little bit on the higher side because they're kind of like specialty cheeses, but it's a great snack when you're watching a movie over like yeah. chips and stuff like that. And then another oh, cheese yeah. that we love to get here is the Irish cheddar. This is a grass-fed cheese. They have the mature, the vintage, and then the mild. We don't need that today, but it's a really good find here. Okay, there we go. They also are bringing in their birthday cards. I love when they bring birthday cards in here. 99 cents. They're always so cute. I've bought many a birthday cards here because they're such a good deal and they're always so sweet. Just a note to say hello for grandma. Okay, and just a few more things here. Glass bowls and lids. Super great deal. They're going really fast. $14.99 for a 12 piece set. And then they have some of the manual food choppers up here. What is that? Like you push the lid down or oh, oh no, you try nice. like that. I thought you like push them. That's down. really cool. How that's much is it? Four ninety nine? Yeah, they have oh. other ones. Okay, then here is a little mini chopper. Oh that's what you're looking at, yeah. So they have this little string pull chopper. That's different. That's cool. Do you have this? Let me know if this works. That is cool. Yeah, so I think you attach the whisk to the merge of letters. And the same thing with that's the really cool for $24, that. $25. I like the blue color. Too. Yeah, so they have blue. black and blue. And I think we covered everything. Yep. We covered everything. That is a wrap. Look at my kids. In the cart, coloring. Sophia, Sophia is all Sophia. gone, Sophia. Yep. All right, that is a wrap. We are going to go. We are done. Let's check out. We have more stores to go to. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Aldi's. Can you say goodbye to everyone? Bye. Say thanks for watching. Yay. Okay, so we're back home. It wasn't a huge haul, but it was just everything that we needed. Kind of a bummer they didn't have berries, but I was able to find berries at Trader Joe's. So that's great. That video is coming up later this week. Okay, let's get into it. So what did I find at Aldi? What did we find? Okay, so let's start with the, the greens. I do like the spring mix from there. I want to show you the different greens in here, which are so amazing. I just absolutely love it. And it's a really good price. They actually are beating out Costco and they're beating out, well, Whole Foods. So we always use a spring mix on salads and sandwiches and they last. They last a lot longer than some of the other greens I buy from other stores, so I'm really happy. Baby spinach and arugula, nothing in it but the baby spinach and arugula. When I was doing a lot of juicing and smoothies, I would just use tons of this. Now they don't do as many. We like to put these like in our omelets. So my kids either add this to their salad or put them in their omelets. Then I picked up some of these cauliflower. Now, I've priced the cauliflower. I don't care if these are organic or not. If I could find them cheaper than $10 a head, organic, probably would buy them. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up for snack this week. And so I like to prep my food when we bring it home. So after I do this table view, I'll prep everything I need for the week. Okay, we'll stick with the produce. Over here, I got the cuties. That was a super great price on cuties. Three pounds. For under three dollars i'm happy they're non-gmo my kids love them they're super sweet you can pair fruit with any kind of protein that's usually what we do i think oranges are just a really good combination with just about everything my son thomas will eat at least one a day one a day yeah and then moving our way down here okay so i did end up getting the cucumbers 95 cents i was like what Great deal, non-GMO. I would prefer organic. The ones at Costco are double the price. They're $1.99 a piece. They are organic. So I really wish they didn't wrap everything in plastic. And then we also got the snacking cucumbers or for days like this when we're out and about and we're driving. It's a nice crunchy snack. Okay, and then I picked up the ground lamb. It's such a great price on ground lamb. I absolutely love it. We got three of these because I wanted to make some meatballs. Maybe a couple of Gosh, it's been over a week and a half now, I think. Maybe two weeks since we've actually made any of the meatballs. I love this from Australia. It makes me very happy because their practices are really good. And it doesn't have any hormones, has no added antibiotics, vegetarian fed. It has 20 grams of protein for four ounces, which is really good. I have dropped my meatball recipe here. Let me know if you want me to create a short 
or you want a PDF for the meatball recipe. I've done cheeseburger meatballs, Mediterranean meatballs, all different kinds of them. So if you want those recipes, let me know down below in the comments. Also picked up the hot dogs because I thought we were out of them. And I don't know if you saw my Costco haul. My kids actually made the entire menu for the week and they did the grocery list. I mean, everything. Alex wanted macaroni and cheese and he wanted hot dogs. I think it was, I think it was Alex. So I got three packages of hot dogs. I love these because they are 100% grass fed and the ingredients are super good. You see that right there. So good. And that is the best price ever for hot dogs. Okay, moving down here. I splurged and got some of this cheese because they're local to us and well, they're from Wisconsin. So this is a Car Valley cheese. They have excellent cheese. Love them so much. I'm wondering, do you have specialty cheeses in your area where you live? Like do they bring in local cheese makers. Um, I love that they do that here in Wisconsin at our Aldi. I think it's awesome. And this will be something that we'll like cut up to have as like a charcuterie board. We like to make charcuterie boards for like game nine movie night things like that everyone comes through they all pick up their food they decide what they want they sit down they watch the movie play their games it's really kind of nice and then we got two of the white cheddar cheese these are the slices there's the ingredients and the macros you want to see those i know a lot of you want to see the macros um so there's that we got two of the white mild cheddar and then two of the colby jack for sandwiches and snacking Back here, I think Aldi has the best prices on spices. They're so reasonable for spices that you're buying in a jar. I haven't really figured out the price based on bulk. Most of the time, bulk's gonna be way cheaper. This was under $3 for a jar. So I did here, don't know if it's accurate or not still, but this was on another YouTube video. Someone was talking about Aldi secrets and Aldi actually, their spices come from McCormick. I thought, how cool is that? Because you could just go to Aldi and get McCormick spices and pay a fraction of the price. The next thing we got were these bowl fillers. These are the ones we picked out. I love these cotton rattan. Isn't that cute? And then we also got these for spring and for St. Patrick's Day. And I also grabbed these because I thought, well, these are ones I could leave out through spring and through summer. Okay, so moving down here, they don't always carry scrub daddy, at least at our Aldi. They do have them at Costco, but I saw this scrub mommy and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. I really love the scrub daddy, so I'm sure the scrub mommy will be just as good. And then my daughter's got the baby packets. Best deal ever if your kids need a snack. I think they're like under 90 cents, 85 cents. Oh no, it says right here on the screen. Mixed berry beet with the flex, which I love. And then the mango, apple, banana, avocado with kale. Then I bought all these really kind of bringing in cards. So when I buy my mom a card, I buy my mother-in-law a card. Okay, so the last thing on the table is the bread. We're able to find three loaves of the bread that we normally buy. So I grabbed two of the thin slice bread. And I'm kind of glad I bought the thin slice loaves. And I think I might do that more often. They're a little bit cheaper, but these are perfect for breakfast. This has 12 carbs and the bigger loaves have 21. So if you're okay eating carbs, we just are trying to watch them. I would go with the thin sliced piece of bread. So let me show you, I don't think I did this in the store. There is the grain-tastic and then seed-tastic back there. And if you can make sourdough bread, even better. My husband and I are finally doing that again. And there's the rest of the table. This is everything we bought for the week. Not a super haul. There's that grand total again. But I'm always happy when I leave with what I get. I love the finds and I love all the deals I get when I go there. Keep following me. We have a lot more cooking videos now that are all laid out in the works. You're going to see a lot more cooking at home with me a little bit more family vlogging along with those cooking meals. Again, if you want that shopping list for everything I bought today, it's been a huge haul, but if you still want that shopping list, um, I have that PDF down below here for you. And now we're gonna go into the kitchen and we're gonna make ketchup. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make a ketchup. This is one that we've made in the past, but I've used maple syrup, not coconut sugar. So one hen chose the coconut sugar because it's lower on the glycemic index. It has a score of, I think it's 34, 35, so it's low, versus maple syrup that has 54. Because we're trying to cut down the sugar, that's why we're making the homemade. And I just like the homemade because it's not in a plastic bottle, and I created it myself, so I know everything that's in it. I know the quality of the food, quality of the ingredients, and all that good stuff. So 
All you're gonna need is tomato paste. I just have some Kirkland tomato paste, garlic. We're using four cloves of garlic. And then we're also gonna be using the coconut sugar, five spice. Then over here I have some onion powder. I'm also going to be using a little bit of lemon. That's it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ingredients. And now we're gonna start creating our ketchup. So this is about 12 ounces of tomato paste. So a lot of the sugar-free ketchups contain like erythritol and things like that. I really don't like using erythritol, so that was like a no-go for me. And then we're gonna mix this up ever so slowly so we don't dump it on the table. I'm thinking for this recipe, I am going to add a little bit of molasses. Okay, so I have some black strap molasses from Azure Market. I'm just going to kind of go like this. There you go. Kind of see what that looks like. I'm just going to mix this up. Now you can make a ketchup with zero sugar, but I wasn't going for that in this video here because I know so many of us are used to the traditional ketchup on the shelf. And a lot of time when you just go straight to the other ketchup, it's very different. And a lot of people will say they don't like it because they're not used to it. You have to work towards it. You can switch to something like the coconut sugar. Okay, while we're talking here, I figured I'll show you. I'm gonna put it all in a glass mason jar. That's, that's a good amount of ketchup. So there we go, homemade ketchup, not using white sugar. Don't forget down below I have my shopping list if you want to print it off. It's printable and downloadable just for you. If you want any of my recipes that you've seen any of these videos and printable and downloadable versions until we have everything set up on a website, I'd be more than happy to send that to you. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. I love reading all your comments. Thank you for all the shares. Um, thank you for all the super chats. Thank you for all the love and support. Um, it means so much to us. And I hope you have a really great weekend. And we will see you on the next video. Until then, take care.